Yeah, top. Uh, no. Rod Jolly good smash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah real quick. Oh, we got this run back. Ah, I knew, yes, 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 here we go. Uh, winner's final. Game number one in the grand, grand, very grand. Yeah, it's, it's a run very. back from winner's final. So, right? Yes, but this is a very grand final. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough. <laughs> We've got the... Well, the red team just losing stage control. They're getting ping ponged around between. Uh, they're getting ping ponged around by uh, Carnage and Smash Down. Uh, it's table tennis. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I always find that doubles is a lot more fun to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just much more hectic, you know. Yeah. It's, and sometimes it's, it's always good to not be super serious all the time, you know. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes in doubles, weird stuff just happens. You can't explain it. Such as Carnage getting sent almost for a ride up the top there. Carnage going for another ride. Classic Pop Tuck sent out to join him. Carnage now has the stage control in that situation. Pop Tuck trying to find a catch but gets caught himself with that down smash, sending him to the blast zone. One stock over to, oh, well, for the green team. The up tilt, wait. perfect up tilt spacing. Who's up, who's up tilt was that? That was Mars. Love Matthews. It was beautiful. So, one thing I noticed, every time, uh, every time Classic Pop Tuck sends Smashbound off the ledge, uh, it's Smashbound has to guess whether he's going to send an arrow his way, or it's, or whether he he's going to send one straight up because he nice. Did the the drop it went down into the drop zone, got the back air, took out uh, Smashbound stock. Oh, sorry, continue. Uh, no, I, what I'm saying is, um, basically he he can force Smashbound to go low. Oh, we've had a we've had a monitor cut out right here. That's all right. There you go. It sometimes, sometimes happens. And there goes the first stop of that. Aye. So we, we, we're craning our necks right now, so we can, see, uh, we can see the game. Monitor's back on now. There we go. Not so, not so reactive to people using... Uh, before, we've noticed, myself and Bird noticed the pattern where people were using their grabs. Uh, using their grab armor really effectively in those, in those little 2v1 situations. You know when you grab somebody but their teammate is waiting for them? Yeah. Um, people have been really good at reacting to their teammates coming in to save them and using the grab armor to take out Very nice. Get it again! Two of those! Those back airs off stage. Beautifully just kind of taking Smashdown out of the game yet again. Like a bubble of protection around that too. And entering it, everything is a tip. Yeah. Especially when you're off stage, she likes getting in there. Oh yeah. She's oh yeah, her, her, her spacing's incredible. Yeah, indeed. There we go. Carnage floating out of the dancing blade right now. Quite quite unfortunate. Missing the team combo yeah. between the two of them. Try to catch it. It was gonna be a bit a bit of a micro combo if possible, but the fourth throw is enough. A two stock lead for the red team. They, they really I think Smashbound really wants to wait outside. Wait for uh, Plastic Pop Tart to lose his nerve and roll out so he can grab him, possibly get him back and get him back for a Here we go. Plastic Pop Tart needs to be careful here. He's getting on Smashbound at the ledge. He needs to be careful of getting grabbed because that could make things much harder for his team. Aye, aye. As he recovers, but a nice space back air just gets that stock. And then Smash Brown looking to, uh, oh, very nice protection, very nice protection from there from Matsu. Using the Dancing Blade to hold them in place, gets the hits as well. And allows Tim to recover back to the stage. There we go, there's that Tim back air once again. <clears throat> very now good at getting that. Two on one situation. That was, yeah, I think Matsu taken, yeah, Matsu took every single one of Smash Brown. Whoa, Whoa, what a fun, didn't get the final hit made, though. And Look at this obnoxious <laughs> nature. <laughs> Two people. It's, it's hard enough for one gets the, person. Gets the four there. No, he's living. He's living. Look at, look, look at the oh. coverage. <laughs> look at the ladies, ladies and, and gentlemen, Peach's so, floating ability! Unnecessary! Share stuff. stuff. I'm getting tossed going backwards. <laughs> it's like the most frustrating thing because it looks really patronizing. What? I didn't grab? That's really, BS. That was really weird. BS. That was super weird. Not enough. Not enough rage there to kill him. Dancing in a circle. Matsu twirling around. Oh, Pete's just skipping away from that grab. And this should take it. And there we go. That is going to be 1 0 to Hopsu. That. Man, that kind of hectic moment towards the end. There was so much going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean. Matsu did a really good job of shutting down Mert a lot. Um, Smash Bound. Uh, you know, not only you know in terms of just holding them in place, keeping them. You know, you were talking about in Matsu's bubble of protection, you know, the arc of that sort of you know of of the Falchion, just kind of you know being quite a scary one. Um, having the um, having that kind of offstage presence and the ability to um, 
you know, just trying to continually just harass him, yeah. keep him off stage and get those KOs, really took away a lot of his power in those more defensive scenarios that they're trying to work on. And I think I counted, I think in that match, I think I counted three tip of back airs. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Just, she uh, did it three times and that was every single stock of his. Yeah, and it was, it was absolutely roast, absolutely roasted his, his recovery mind games. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was, he was, he was coming back, he didn't, he didn't even air dodge. Let him, let him burn his jump, let him fall. And then I and think, the moment she was in back air range, it was, it was there. Yeah, it was yeah. there and he was dead. Because I think that, that's definitely an idea of knowledge of, of, of spacing. She knows exactly on that range. And then he maybe not so much sure. So he doesn't air dodge. You think he, he, he thinks he's safe. Yeah. You're not safe. <laughs> you are not safe. So, yeah, to be perfectly honest, uh, Plastic Pop Dart does that to me as well. The uh, Dancing Blade into up smash from Pit. Very, very good at kind of f f getting strings together from uh, you know, with with each other. <gasps> that would have been lovely, but yeah. saying it's, that the string wasn't there. That a lot. Yeah. Um, it's his own. It's, it's it's Peach's own second way of getting really early kills. He can kill you as low as 50% with that. Oh, that's a back air from Tim. That's going to take that's going to take Carnage's first stop. Really, right. really early in this game to be losing a stop for the green team. Yep. Another thing I, w I do want to say about the last game is shout out to the Carnage because uh, he was super he was super solid in the 2v1. Just about he had a maybe a bit too much to be uh, we can really criticize him for not making back, but like he was not scared of going in on either player and he mixed it up versus both of them really well. Yeah. Ooh, try to get that down air to up air to follow up. That, ooh, Mert put himself in in position, but there's a little bit too much going on in that in, in that moment. Couldn't quite find the clarity he wanted. Yeah. Not popped up, not able to get the follow up off that grab. Ooh, Ooh. But Carnage, Carnage was. I don't even think Matsu was aware that what was coming there. Green, green team, they're doing a very good job of, of you know closing out these spaces, you know, knocking someone away and getting in on the other person yeah. and spending as much time pressurizing them of them as possible. But also spreading open that coverage as well when they when they when they need need to like open up. The two-on-one scenario, but the, do the Dolphin Slash go. does not take Mert's stock. I like that. Here we go. I... Oh, the counter slowing stops, him. Yeah, it slowed stops, him. Stops his momentum. Yeah. That's why That's why it's been doing it. Me and Bird were, were just sitting, were, were discussing why we thought that was happening, because she, she she's done that about like seven times throughout throughout the last set as well. And yeah. never hit him once, but now we re now I realize slowing down the momentum, yeah, stopping yeah. him from getting to that ledge. Doesn't have to hit to work. The neutral was way too frantic there to get any sort of double spot, to get any sort of team follow up. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that they both fox struck together as a pair, and that's going to take Carnage's second slot. Carnage returning on the Halo, going to try and do some damage immediately with that down throw. Ness doing his best just to kind of. Just option coverage, I think, right now, but does get get that grab. Nice, nice position, just being there at, at, at the right Not point. Take a stock there, though. Has he burned his jump? Does he have the jump left? I mean, has enough coverage with the dolphin slash anyway. Moot point. Ooh, that five head. Surrounded on all sides. Mert doesn't care. Still throwing out that up smash when he's close to the ground. The grounded up smash. When I say up smash, sorry, up air. Yeah. Hits like an up smash. <laughs> The back air, very, very nice, is coming in. Noticed that Matsu was a little bit too focused on 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 uh, Smash Bound. Found his, his moment to get in and punish. Fantastic stuff. I wonder, if, I wonder if Matsu could throw in a button in the middle of that. Probably not. In the middle of a. Ooh, what a find! Beautiful. That's the oh, stock. No. That's the last one. And that's going to take another. No, Ooh. it's not. He's living. He's living. That's just so good. We're seeing that spacing once Matsu. again. Yep. Oh, there it is! We go oh, Matt is on fire. So much mileage out of it. How many of the Smash Bound stocks have been taken by that? I think that's the fifth. Oh, very, very nice work. Keep following it up. This is really good stuff from this team. Getting juggled. Unfortunately, Matsu taking. Inflicting a little bit of knockback. No! Oh, almost getting stretched up on the platform there. Don't miss the bus. There we go. Carnage not afraid just to run in between them. Absolutely no shield left on Plastic but On Matsu, sorry. There oh, double fair! Fair to tip a fair. Happy to drift backwards. I don't think Peach had a reverse grab box. Oh, no. Ooh. This is a bad spot for Carnage. Hitbox is looking for him everywhere. Back air. 
Air dodge into back air. Oh, trying to get the, uh, the, 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 the back hit from that. There we go. Just, Just run, run up. in and run up. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> ran. He Like, she literally ran half the width of the yeah, stage, yeah. like, at Marth's run speed. Just <laughs> it's jogged ca it's straight casual, up. It's casual, you know? <laughs> hey, Peach! <laughs> Wait. Why, hello there! Yeah, yeah. Up we go. Anyway, so that is... That, I think that... Is that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. No, they won game one. It's 2-0. It's 2... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Wait, did... Nice. No, it's 2-0. It's 2-0. Okay. Oh, I thought that was 1-0. Are, are, are you alright? Are you alright? Uh, Have you been watching uh, the game? I need to ask... Smash I need to ask, Brothers I need is to ask, I need to ask Mama GP what, she, what was in those muffins. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I thought there was a reason there were only 30p. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> So green team, Carnage and Smash Brown looking for that way into this game. I believe they went, this was the, this is the, we said the run back from winners finals and actually um, Carnage and Smash Brown went 2-0 up, didn't they? Yes, and, and then, then they, they got reverse 3 0 Before that, however, there was a lot of team switching going on. There was a lot of uh, uh, character switching. Both of these, both Matsu and Pop are having lots of characters in their catalogs. Yeah. So they ex both ex both of them experimenting with Corin, uh, Corin, Pit, uh, both I th I Tim's Marth, Matsu's Marth. Like, and then they found this team comp and didn't lose it. Haven't lost the game since. I'm kind of confused as to why this wasn't their, their opening gambit, really, because you know, Pop Tart. We know him. He has a Marth, sure. He's got a zero suit, sure, but everyone knows him for his pit. His his mouth is also terrifying. Oh yeah, of course it is. His mouth is absolutely terrifying. It's monstrous, but yeah. um, so I don't. I'm gonna blame it. It means it just what it means is I just think they didn't want to go double mouth. There was a moment where I thought they might. Yeah. What it what it must mean is that they just trust his pit in this mat in to to help the team more than Matsu's current. It's comfort, I think, and the ability to kind of like de um to like. Not de I guess destabilize. Oh, gonna take a, gonna trying take a stop trying to, to destabilize, um, you know, team play. And that is going to be the green team taking the slight lead, not following the runner player this set. And up goes Carnage, going to float down. Oh, who just got sent flying off there? And that is plastic pop tart. We got our screen but, back. But with the, screen issues, apologies. But with the um, parasol from um, Peach allows. Uh, pop chart to throw out that up the the up air and, and actually take Peach's stock. So, although it is percentage, I'm not sure it was worth it. You know, want to be holding on to the these stocks. Yep. So, speaking of holding on to, on to stock, Smash Brown with some severe yeah. tanking right now. Yep. Um, to be perfectly honest, that's only just going that's only going to come out in the form of an angry back throw. Yeah. If unless you take that stock off him quickly, like you can die at 80%. Well, there it goes. There we go. The the green team are going to be very relieved with that because they are because they've removed the threat of back throw at extremely low percents. Forward throw coming out there from Smash Bat. going to put him into his disadvantage state. In which, in my opinion, is going to be off stage for Pip because yeah. of because of his recovery options. Uh, back air again. And again. Back throw, not quite going to take it. Going to be a little bit slow. That was going to be a bit stale now. Yeah. I mean, we've seen, you know, there comes up. There up it there. is. Yeah, very nice. E really equal in stock. Equal in stock, but Matsu percentage is huge. Indeed. You have to see some very careful, considered, precise play from Matsu to be able to stay alive. The back throw is not going to take it. Not going to take it. But Matsu, in, before she got grabbed there by the uh, by the teammate assist. Oh, there we go. Making my, my eat my words. I was saying she was spacing herself out really, really solidly, putting on a solid 50% onto Smashbound on his final stock. Well, on second his second, up. his penultimate stock. Sorry. Carnage getting through Matsu's wall of steel. Not able to land against Plastic Pop Tart though. That nest so huge. Yeah, covers a lot of space. Really, nice. that forward tilt was perfect. The spacing, the sweet spot on that one, beautiful. Just missing the spacing on the fair there. Might have taken the stock from Carnage. I, I found that um, the the the, the uh, team play between red team just seems a lot more dynamic. Yep, immediately. It's not, one it's of not, them taking the point, yeah. and then the next one switching out, and they're covering each other so so well. And there's a sudden huge change. Like it's not necessarily like better or worse, I wouldn't say, but it's just the dynamics of it. You know, they, the interplay between the two is so much more, um, or diverse. Seems, you know, 
seems a bit more well practiced. Yes. I, it does not surprise me these two have a lot of time to practice together. I know that Smash Brown plays with Reptile a lot and Zone and you know, all, all of those kind of jump around. So I think this could be the first time that Smash Brown has played with Carnage. No, they've, I think they've played together before. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I think... Uh, I think... Uh, I think that Plastic pop Tart might have teamed with every single person in this match. Plastic pop pop Tart has? Yeah, I think he's been a teammate of, 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 of all three other players in this game. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's teamed with... Maybe if you're on Carnage there. Nice stuff, that's, that's the first. It's down there, that's not going to take yet, it. But it may be small, but not that light. There we there go, yeah, that's going to take it. it. And that is 3 0. Game. game 3, 3 0. It's grand finals as well, so that you're. Was a really solid performance from uh, from, from Popsu. Your, your, your winners of doubles is Popsu, they take the, the grand prize. The grand prize! A gra oh, sorry, are we back to this now? Uh, yeah. A grand prize.